Hi, this is Helal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will solve a problem that was asked by a sister Ikram John regarding the total benefit and total cost. The question is like this. Suppose that uh, total benefits and total cost from an activity are respectively uh, given by the following equation. We have the equation for total benefits given by BQ is equal to 150 plus 28Q minus 5Q square where Q is the quantity. And also total cost is given by C of Q is equal to 100 plus 8Q. Okay. We are also being given that a marginal benefit is equal to 28 minus 10Q. It is simply the derivative of total benefit uh, they have taken here. And also the marginal cost is given by 8. Actually, there was a misprint uh, 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 in the sister's uh, problem. Actually, here it, it should be minus 5Q square so that we get marginal benefit is minus 10 why so let me explain why there was a mistake we have our total benefit is given by 150 uh, plus 28q okay minus 5q square so this minus 5q square was not in the original question so i just manipulated that very uh, question to get this very thing because it was given us here so our uh, total benefit is simply uh, the derivative of sorry marginal benefit marginal benefit is the derivative of total uh, benefit with respect to quantity so when we uh, de de uh, sorry uh, take derivative of this very total benefit uh, function with respect to q so we will get the derivative of constant is 0 derivative of q is 1 so we are left here with 28 minus so here 2 5s are 10 so we get uh, 10 q as the derivative of uh, q square here because this 2 becomes coefficient it is multiplied with 5 so 2 5s are 10 q actually when this thing was given i got confused uh, so when marginal benefit is 28 minus 10 q then in this equation this very uh, term must be included okay so otherwise the question will not make any sense okay so it was just a, a rectification of the original question so what we are, have to do here, marginal cost is also being given here. We have to write out the equation for the net benefit is first, okay. So uh, let's uh, follow side by side. So uh, writing the equation for the net benefits means, that means net benefit. So I will write, this is a part. Net benefits is equal to total benefits minus total cost okay what is total benefit is given by this very equation so we have 150 minus sorry plus 28 uh, q minus 5 q square uh, then we have to subtract this cost function so we have 100 minus 8 q okay when we subtract so these terms will become negative so net benefit uh, function is given by this so if we just uh, uh, write them in the order so we have 150 minus 100 is equal to 50 28q minus 8q is equal to plus 20q minus 5q square okay this is our part first writing the equation for net benefit okay now b part is uh, what are the net benefits when q is equal to 1 and q is equal to 5 that means we need to solve this very equation of net benefit is uh, and evaluate it uh, at when q is equal to 5 first so net benefit when q is equal to 5 means just inserting q is equal to 5 in this equation so we have 50 uh, plus 20 in place of q we have 1 minus 5 in place of q square we have 1 square so this will come out to be 50 uh, plus 20 uh, minus 5 so this comes out to be 50 plus 20 is 70 minus 5 comes out to be 65 so net benefit when q is equal to 1 should be equal to 65 similarly uh, another part was evaluate when q is equal to 5 so net benefit when q quantity is equal to 5 is equal to just plug this q is equal to 5 in the net benefit equation so we have 50 uh, plus in place of 20 in place of q we have 5 uh, minus 5 in place of q we have 5 square okay Q square is 5 square so this comes out to be 50 plus 20 into 5 it comes out to be 100 5 5 is 25 into 5 is 125 so this is here uh, 50 plus this is 150 minus 125 comes out to be 25 okay so 
net benefit when q is equal to 5 comes out to be 25 okay now next uh, part is that c part is about uh, write out the equation for marginal net benefit okay now what is marginal and net benefit marginal net benefit is simply equal to the marginal benefit minus marginal cost marginal benefit function is given us here this is equal so let me write it here which implies or i will write a equality sign here to save the space so we have 28 minus 10 q this is our marginal benefit to this we subtract marginal cost that is 8 okay and it comes out to be 28 minus 8 is 20 minus 10 q this is our marginal net benefit function okay marginal net benefit function now d part is uh, we have to find uh, what are the marginal net benefits when q is equal to 1 and 5 so just we need to find marginal net benefit when q is equal to 1 means we just uh, have to insert the value of q is equal to 1 in this equation to get the marginal net benefit okay so we have 20 minus 10 the value of 1 the value of q is 1 so 20 minus 10 comes out to be 20 is our marginal net benefit also marginal net benefit when q is equal to 5 so what will be our marginal net benefit when q is equal to 5 insert q is equal to 5 in this equation so we have 20 minus 10 in place of q we have 5 so this is 20 minus uh, 10 5 are 50 this comes out to be negative 30 okay so marginal uh, net benefit is negative when we have q is equal to 5 okay now uh, e part is uh, we have to find the level of q that maximizes net benefit okay so net benefits are maximized net benefits are maximized maximized when uh, marginal net benefit is equal to zero okay it is same way when we say that total revenues are maximized uh, when marginal revenue is zero okay now what is our marginal net benefit this is given us that means 20 minus 10 q should be equal to zero which implies uh, 10 q is equal to 20 which implies q is equal to 20 upon 10 which comes out to be 2 okay now coming to the last part that is f part is uh, at a level of q that maximize net benefit what is the value of marginal net benefit okay so we have to find the value of marginal net benefit at a level when q is maximized okay now we see that q is maximized q is maximized okay uh, sorry uh, the mm, maximum value of q we have got here that when q is equal to 2 our net benefits are maximized so we have to find the value of marginal net benefit what is marginal net benefit equation that is given us here so we have to just plug q is equal to 2 into our marginal net benefit equation so we have 20 minus uh, 10 in place of q we have 2 so we can see here it is 0 that means the value of marginal net benefit marginal uh, net benefit is equal to 0 when q that is the uh, optimal level of q when q is equal to 2 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you